Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a Patreon. This video is about flapperons and how to program them in OpenTX. Now, flapperons are where you use your ailerons to act as flaps as well. Now we are going to set up two flaps settings on the model so that we can have basically for takeoff and landing. So let's switch over to the computer. I have set up a basic model here. The first thing we're going to do is set up the global variables and the global variables that I'm using are 50 and 70. Now I've actually used these percentages in my clouds plane, but you may have to uh, play around with these figures because you would need to set them up for your individual plane. Now let's input the global variables and uh, we're going to go to global variable one and we're just going to call this flap one and put in there the value of 50%. Then the next one, flap two, and give that the value of 70. Okay, that's the global variables done. Now we are going to move on to the mixes. Now in here, there's a fair bit of work to do. So we need to add a line to the first aileron. Now, we are going to have the source is going to be max. Okay, then our global variable for this one, we are going to tick the box next to weight, and that is going to be global variable one, and it is a plus figure. Now, whether the global variable is a plus or a minus will depend on the setup of the servos in your model. So once you program this in, just check that everything is working correctly. If not, you will have to change these from a plus to a minus. Okay, then we need to select our switch. Now, I use switch SE. So this will be our first flap. So it's switch SE in the middle position. Then I'm going to slow this down a bit. So I'm going to put in here uh, 1.5 seconds and this makes the flaps drop slowly and not just suddenly come down. Now we can click OK. Now we need to duplicate this line and then we're going to double click it and what we need to do here is change this global variable now to number 2 and then the switch is SE in the back position or towards us and then we've all got everything else we need there so we can click OK. So we've done the first aileron now we need to move on to the second one. Now what we can do is copy this line go to here and paste that line so the second line comes up. Now we need to just edit this so this is going to now be minus. There we go and we just check everything else is correct. It should be, everything should be good there uh, because we duplicated it from the top. So now we can just go duplicate here, double click. We're going to change this one now, the global variable to minus two. And the switch is going to be changed into the back position. And we've got our slow there. So there we go. Now the next thing we can do is move on to special functions and we can put special functions in here for those switches. So we are going to do switch SE in the forward position and we're going to play a track. Play a track and then we are going to find a file that's called flap up. Let's have a look. Flap Flap up. There we go. We can test that. Flaps up. Okay, then we're going to go on to the middle position switch. Switch SE in the middle. We're going to play track. Play track. This one is going to be flap ST. Flap ST and that one. Take off. Here we go. And the SE in the back position. Switch SE in the back position. Play track. Play track. 
and then we are going to find we're going to use flaps one for this flaps one and there we go flaps one now let's check everything's working okay and we will simulate the radio okay we simulate we can hit a model button and then we our flaps are on se we just have to reset this okay so we should our ailerons are on channel one and channel five in my case and you can see they're working now if i bring the flaps down to the first settings you can see the flaps coming down and there we go everything's working fine so that's how you set up flapperons in open tx if this found this video useful please give it a thumbs up and if you have any comments or questions please leave them in the comment section below because i would love to hear from you thanks for watching happy flying bye for now